Hi, I'm Aileen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone pages and components in SmartEdit. First, let's log into SmartEdit and choose the page I'd like to edit. Let's pick the home page. For the page cloning, I have two options. I can clone a page from the page list view or switch into the basic or advanced edit mode. I'll select basic edit and click the clone page button. The clone page editor appears displaying the clone options tab. In the display conditions area, I'll select the type of page I want to clone. Here I have two options, primary or variation. If I wanted to clone a category or product page, I could only clone a variation page, since these page types only support one primary page. If I clone a content page, like the home page, I can select a primary or a variation page. If I choose variation, I need to select the primary page I would like to associate to the new cloned variation page. I'll keep the home page as the associated primary page. Now, if I want to clone the components as well, we have two options, either to use existing components or to clone components. For this tutorial, I'll select Clone Components and click Next. In the Clone Page Wizard, I'll specify the page name and the page title. Since I'm cloning a variation page, I'll click Next to continue with the restrictions. In this section, I can add, modify, or remove restrictions. The Restrictions function is used to specify under which conditions pages or components are displayed to customers. Also, restrictions are only applicable for variation pages. My new cloned page should be a summer homepage. So, I'll add a time restriction. Let's say I'd like the page to be displayed from June 21st until September 21st. Once I've edited the restrictions of my cloned page, I'll click the Done button. To check that the page has been created properly, I'll navigate back to the Sites section and use the Search function. Voila! The cloned page appears in the list. That's all for now. Thank you for watching!